Hi, uh, this is Michael. Today's physical law video uh, is going to be focused a little deeper on the filtration process, process, especially as we talk about the kidneys. So we'll be talking a little bit about the kind of foods and some other physical laws that will deepen our understanding of how our bodies work when it comes to physical laws. So let's go ahead and watch that. How to get kidney filtration. The following is some of the most important health information you will ever receive. The body has a sewer system to handle the waste from your trillions of cells. It's called your lymph system, and it carries cellular waste to the kidneys where it's filtered, then eliminated. If the kidneys get clogged, your sewer backs up. It's that simple. This is the cause of most so-called diseases, everything from acne to arthritis. Backed up lymph becomes acidic, causing pain and inflammation. Acids destroy joints, bones, skin, arteries, organs, etc. Toxic lymph is also a breeding ground for parasites, viruses, and fungus. This is why kidney filtration is so important. Here's a simple test to see if your kidneys are filtering. Don't consume any liquids three to four hours before bedtime. Urinate into a glass jar first thing in the morning. Don't worry about the color. If it's cloudy, your kidneys are filtering lymph. If it's clear, you've got some work to do. Here's how to get filtration. The first thing you've got to do is switch to a raw food diet of fruits and vegetables. Eat them or juice them fresh, it's up to you. Dairy, grains, meat, and cooked foods are inflammatory. Avoid them like the plague. Eat at least 80% raw fruit. Fruits get lymph moving and clean the kidneys. Acid fruits are the most cleansing. These include lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruit, pineapple, strawberries, tangerines, cranberries, and tomatoes. Subacid fruits are the next best. Apples, blackberries, blueberries, cantaloupe, cherries, grapes, mangoes, nectarines, peaches, pears, plums, raspberries, and watermelon. Have a salad of fresh raw veggies for dinner or just have some fruit. For extra power, try a 100% grape or watermelon diet for a few days or even longer. A lemon juice fast can really kickstart stubborn kidneys. Try beetroot juice for a few days, but it's very powerful, so I'd mix it with other juices. If you experience kidney pain, stop immediately. Here's a little trick that works for some. Drink a cup of Givana Detox Tea or Dr. Morse's Heal All Tea before your last meal. Then, eat a half a cup of raisins in the evening without consuming any other liquids. Check your urine in the morning for filtration. You just might see some. Herbs can also help you get filtration. Parsley, ginseng, dandelion, corn silk, saw palmetto berries, and juniper berries are great for cleaning the kidneys. Nettle leaf tea makes a great daily tonic. Dr. Morris has some good formulas you should use if you're still not getting results. I like to start with a combination of kidney and bladder tonic number one capsules, combined with kidney and bladder tonic number two tincture, and lymphatic system number one tonic capsules. You can play around with different strengths and see what works for you. Exercise. Since the lymph system has no pump like your blood system, it moves by capillary action when muscles contract or if it's physically moved. Light exercise like walking, bike riding, deep breathing, and yoga can help move lymph to the kidneys. Don't exercise hard or use a rebounder if you're not filtering. Alternating hot water with cold while showering moves lymph. Massage, including lymphatic massage and dry skin brushing, help too. Work on the adrenals as well. The adrenal glands control the kidneys, so they must be strong. A good way to check adrenal power is by your blood pressure. Your systolic or upper number should be around 120. Adrenal herbs can help bring this up. Siberian ginseng, licorice root, parsley, astragalus, and dandelion can help. Dr. Robert Morris also has an adrenal gland tonic in both a tincture and capsules. If you have tried all of this and are still not filtering, you can try a raw kidney bovine glandular. You will find links to herbs, glandulars, and more information below in the comments section on YouTube. When the kidneys finally break loose, you will see lots of sediment or clouds in your urine. Inflammation will start going down and the body will alkalize and rehydrate. Tumors and cysts will disappear. Pain and swelling will subside. Damaged organs, tissues, and cells all over the body will begin to heal and regenerate. You will start to look and feel much younger and have lots more vitality. Congratulations, you're on the road to Wellville. This can take several days, weeks, or even months to get going.
but be patient. The results are worth it. This is one of the greatest things you can do for yourself, so what are you waiting for? I wish you much luck and success on your journey, and may God bless.